everyone, Comrade from New York here with photo class number 243. Let's go. We are going to discuss today, actually it's the foundation and the backbone of this channel. It's taking great photographs. with equipment that does not break the bank. It should not cost an arm and a leg to take great professional quality photographs. That's why today we are going to get into the GE, yes, the General Electric X500 camera. Sixteen megapixels, made by GE General Electric. I know, when we think of General Electric, we think of GE trains, jet engines. Appliances, light bulbs, etc. But... I never owned a GE camera. Maybe you didn't either. But this is a 16 megapixel camera. All right. Before we get any deeper, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And email me any question you have at black and white photo at AOL.com and I'll get back to you within a day. Folks, this camera, when it was brand new, was about $160 brand new. I picked this up on that online auction site that everybody knows for $16. $16 for this digital camera, 16 megapixels, electronic viewfinder, let's turn it on. Electronic viewfinder, right? You go from the electronic viewfinder to the LCD with a simple press of the button, okay? Now you have the electronic viewfinder. If you wanna look at live view, you just press the button and now you're on live view. Beautiful colors, nice and bright and great menu the menu is laid out very clear easy to understand the mode dial on top gives you all the usual functions program mode shutter priority aperture priority movie um, a lot of scene modes a lot of different applications that you can use how about this in body this one little button here with the hand that shakes in-body image stabilization, $16 camera. Now, uh, two days ago, I took this out to test it out, and we're gonna be looking at photographs all through this video that I took with this camera. And you decide. You decide if it's a good quality camera to have for $16. Now, 16 megapixels, right? How about that Leica sells the TL? That's a 16 megapixel camera, APS-C size sensor for over $900. Oh, and no lens. Oh, and no electronic viewfinder. That Leica TL only has a screen on the back. I'm not making this stuff up. Now, let's shut it off and let's talk about the batteries that it uses. How about four AA household batteries that you can find anywhere around the world? So if you were to take this on vacation with you and you ran out of batteries, you could go to any gift shop, any drugstore, any supermarket and pick up batteries. It uses one SD card, okay? 
Now, cameras like this that are a little older, I like to have on hand these older SD cards, meaning they're like the original SanDisk two gigabyte cards, right? Because <clears throat> they these cameras really weren't made for those big, you know, 64 gigabyte cards, right? You don't want to run into um, trouble. So just have a bunch of pop-up flash, right? Now it doesn't have a hot shoe, so you could put on one of those diffusers that I always talk about. But in this case, uh, you should still use a diffuser. And what I use, I just get a piece of um, tissue paper, put it around with a little tape if I'm going to use the flash at all. Okay. So I'm just looking at my notes. Oh, 15 times optical zoom. Now what that equates to, if it was a 35 millimeter camera, it would be a 27, right? 27 millimeter, nice wide angle for street photography. And it's maximum is 405 millimeters. This is a 405 millimeter lens. Now we'll turn it on and we'll go out to the maximum zoom and that's it. That's all it comes out, but look, that's not a lot. Look at it in comparison to my hand, right? When it's out all the way, this is a 405 millimeter zoom lens. Quite a good telephoto. And when you go backwards, right? When you go to wide angle, it goes right back into the body, right? And there you are, 27 millimeters right there. The f-stops are good, f3 to f5.2. Uh, macro mode. There's a button on the back for macro mode. Um, now, you're going to be looking at the photographs all throughout this video that I took with this camera, this $16 camera, and there's plenty of them out there. The GE X500. There's tons of them out there. In mint condition. Minty condition. Now, uh, I want you to look at uh, this black and white photo. It handles black and white photos perfectly. Uh, this photo that I want to show you, this was zoomed out all the way at 405 millimeters. Pretty cool. Pretty sharp too, keeping in mind it has that in-body image stabilization. So if you shake, right, a little bit, or you maybe you press the shutter too hard, you're covered with the in-body image stabilization. Now, a few of these photos, well, first of all, all of the photographs I edited using the editing software that I used, that I paid for, it was not a gift, Luminar 4. It's my, it's my photo editing software. I do not use Photoshop or Lightroom. I use a professional level, Luminar 4. It's out there. You buy it once. No monthly fee like Photoshop. Keep that in mind. And with the Luminar 4, you can really spice up your photographs. Like you add a cloud. You can uh, really adjust the colors better, in my opinion, than Photoshop. I'm going to show you a photograph now. I'm looking at my screen. I'm going to show you a difference, uh, a photograph without any editing. And now we'll look at it when I edited it. And you can see the difference right there, how much better your photographs look. What I'm going to do is I want to show you a slide with the specs. This way you can pause it and read all the specs if you want. I'll do that now. You guys always appreciate when I tell you how what my settings were for these photographs. I did some trial and error using the aperture priority mode and the shutter priority mode, but in this particular case, with this particular camera, 
the program mode, right? I set it on P for program mode. That was the go-to setting for this camera. It was a nice bright day, right? So you got to keep that in mind, right? Program mode with this camera worked out the best. So that was my setting, was program mode. The ISO setting, right? Uh, the range is really cool. It's 80 all the way up to 3200. That's a nice ISO range. And what, what did I use on this? I used ISO 400 in this camera because I wanted that nice high shutter speed, right? Because that would assist in the image stabilization, getting a nice clear shot. So that's it. That wraps up the video for the GEX 500 16 megapixel camera. And what can I say? Do I recommend it? Of course I recommend it. It's 16 megapixels and $16. How can you beat that? Okay, guys. So please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below. You got a lot of work to do. And email me at blackandwhitephoto at AOL.com. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by for photo class number 243. And remember, the foundation of this channel is you don't have to spend a lot of money to enjoy photography and get professional results. This has been class number 243. Goodbye.